Today we are going to do the estimation of the RCC T-beam decking having the span of 6 meter and we have the bearing of 45 centimeter on either of these abutments. The mild steel reinforcement are 2.5 percentage in the beam and 1 percentage in the slab and the post and we have the density of the mild steel that is 78.5 quintal per cubic meter. So here is the section of this RCC T-beam decking and these three portions are the T-beam ribs on these three sides and the small triangular portion are known as the fillets that means we have number of fillets six and these are called the railing post and this is the curve on both sides and we have this roadway of seven meter length and we have this 40 mm diameter GI pipe of four numbers on both sides so let's visualize this section on 3d diagram so here is a 3d diagram of the t-beam and here are the three t-beam ribs this is the core portion on both sides we have this railing post and these are the gi pipes and we have the roadway of 7 meter that means from this point to this point is 7 meter and we have this span of 6 meter and we have the bearing of 45 centimeter that means we have to add the 45 centimeter bearing on both sides to get the total length so firstly we are going to calculate the rcc work of 1 is to 2 is to 4 excluding steel and its bending but including centering and soldering that means firstly we are going to calculate the RCC work in the T-beam ribs. That means we are going to do the RCC work in this T-beam ribs on all these three sides. So now we have to calculate the total length, breadth and height. So here we can clearly see that the total length of this T-beam ribs is 6 meter span plus bearing on both sides of 45 centimeter so the total length we obtain is 6.9 meter and we can clearly see that the number of these T beams are 3 in number so firstly we have to write the number and number equals to 3 the length equals to 6 meters section span plus 45 centimeter bearing on either of the abutments that means the length equals to 6 meter span plus 2 into 0 0.45 bearing on both sides. So the total length equals to 6.9 meter. Now we have to calculate the width and the width of this RCC beam is from this point up to this point and we have already the length of 35 centimeter. We can easily write the width equals to 35 centimeter and in 3D let's visualize this 35 centimeter that is this width is of 0.35 meter so width equals to 0.35 and we have to calculate the height of this t-beam and here we can clearly see the height of this t-beam is 75 centimeter that is from this point up to this point we have 0.75 meter so height equals to 0.75 and the total quantity is 5.434 and the unit is cubic meter now our next step is to calculate the rcc work in this fillet that means we have this small triangular portion on all these three t-beam ribs and these fillets are found on both sides of these t-beam ribs that means this triangular portion is our fillet so we can clearly see that we have the number of fillet six that means here two here also two and here also two so the total number of this fillets are six in number the length of this fillets is here we can clearly see that it is 15 into 15 centimeter that means the length of this fillet is here 0.15 from this side and here also 0.15 on this side so since it is a triangular portion we have the area of the triangle 1 by 2 into base into height where base is 0.15 and height is also 0 0.15 1 by 2 into base 0 0.15 into height is also 0 0.15 we have this fillet in this whole 6.9 meter length that means from this point up to this point we have the length of 6.9 so we can write the length equals to 6.9 so we get the total quantity 0 0.466 and the unit is cubic meter now our next step is the deck slab 
that means rectangular portion is known as the deck slab and we can see that the total width of this deck slab is 7.7 .7 meter and this deck slab is extended up to full of the 6.9 meter length so the length equals to 6.9 and the width is from this point up to this point we have 7.7 .7 meter and height is 20 centimeter and the total length of this deck slab is 6.9 meter and the width is from this side to this side we have 7.7 .7 meter height of this deck slab is 0.2 meter and we have only one number of this deck slab so the number is 1 length is 6.9 breadth is 7.7 .7, which is already given in the section and height is 0.2 so the total quantity is 10.626 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate the railing post that means we have these two number of the railing post on both sides and this railing post is extended from this point up to this point that means the total height of this railing post is 120 centimeter that can be seen from this height up to this height so height equals to 1.2 and the total length and the breadth is 15 centimeter here we can clearly see that it is 15 into 15 centimeter it means that the length of this railing post is 15 centimeter from this side and width is also 0.15 meter from this side and the height is here we can see it is 1.2 meter so firstly we have to find the number of this railing post and we have here it is clearly seen that the center to center spacing of this rcc railing post is 136 centimeter so for this we have the formula that is total number equals to the length in which this rcc railing post are kept divided by its center to center spacing and plus one so the total length equals to 6.9 meter divided by center to center spacing of 136 centimeter so firstly let's calculate the numbers so number equals to length that is 6.9 divided by center to center spacing 136 centimeter that is 1.36 and plus one so the total number we obtain is 6.07 that is nearly equals to 6 so we have the numbers equals to 6 but we have this railing post on both sides so we can write the number equals to 6 into 2 that is 12 so here we have this railing post 12 in number that means 6 number of the railing post on one side and another 6 number of railing on another side so the total number equals to 12 and the length is 0.15 and width is also 0.15 and height is 1.2 meter which is already given in the question so the total quantity is 0.324 unit is cubic meter now the next step is the curve that means here we can clearly see that these portions are curved and these curves are extended from this point up to this point we have this curve of 20 into 20 centimeter that means this small portion is of 20 centimeter and we have this curve of height of 20 centimeter that means this height is also 20 centimeter and we have the curve from this point up to this point that means total width of this curve is 0.2 plus 0.15 that is 0.35 and we have this number of the curves 2 in number on both sides we can easily write the width equals to 0.35 and here we assume that this is a rectangular portion and we neglect this small triangular portion because it is negligible so we can easily write the width equals to 0.15 plus 0.2 that is 0.35 that means the width is 0.35 from this side up to this side and we have the length of this curve from this point up to whole of the span that is the length equals to 6.9 meter so length equals to 6.9 and we have the curves 2 in number and we have the height of curve that is 0.2 that means from this point to this point we have the height of 0.2 and we neglect the small triangular portion so we are doing this as a rectangular portion and our total quantity is 0.966 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate the rcc of 1 is to 2 is to 4 in the wearing coat here we can clearly see that we have this 10 centimeter wearing coat from this point up to this point only that means this wearing coat is led over this 7 meter roadway having the height of 10 centimeter and this rcc wearing coat is led all over this span that is 6.9 meter that means the total wearing coat 
length is 6.9 meter from this point up to this point and we have only one number of this wedding coat having the length of 6.9 it is laid only on this roadway having the length of 7 meter that means from this point to this point so we can write the width equals to 7 meter and it is of 10 centimeter thickness so height equals to 0.1 so the total quantity is 4.83 cubic meter now our next step is to calculate this 40 mm diameter gi pipe in the railing here we can clearly see that we have four number of this 40 mm diameter gi pipe that means here four number and here four number so the total number of this gi pipe are eight in number that means here we have four number of this gi pipe and here also we have four number of gi pipe so the total number equals to eight and the length of this gi pipe is from this point up to this point that is 6.9 meter so length equals to 6.9 so this gi pipe are calculated in the running meter so the number into this length is our total quantity so we get 55.2 running meter so the unit of this gi pipe is running meter now our last step is to calculate the steel reinforcement bar including the binding that means we are going to put the rcc bars inside the beam slab and this railing post so here we have already given that we have 2.5 percentage of steel reinforcement in the beam here we can clearly see that the mild steel reinforcement are 2.5 percentage in the beam and from this section we can see that this steel bars are kept in the whole of this t-beam deck from this point up to this point so the total height of this steel bar is 75 plus 20 that is 95 centimeter and other all portion are same as this first step except this height so we can write the number equals to 3 length is also 6.9 width is also 0 0.35 same as this process but height is different that is height equals to we have the steel bar from 0 0.75 meter height plus 0 0.2 that is the height equals to 0 0.95 now we have calculated the total quantity of this beam now we have to multiply by this 2.5 percentage so that we can easily find the steel reinforcement in the beam and we also have to calculate the total weight of this steel reinforcement bar in the beam and to find the weight we have to multiply the density so we have the total density of this steel bar 78.5 quintal that is here we have 78.5 quintal so while multiplying this number into length into breadth into height into percentage and into this weight of 78.5 we get the total weight of this steel bar 13.5 quintal now our next step is to calculate the steel reinforcement in the slab that means we can easily write the numbers into length into breadth into height same as this and we have to multiply by the percentage so the number equals to 1 the length is 6.9 as same as this deck slab so 6.9 breadth is 7.7 .7. height is also same that is 0 0.2 and we have to multiply by 1 percentage to get the steel reinforcement bars so into 1 by 100 and to calculate the weight we have to multiply by its density that is 78.5 so the total quantity we obtain is 8.34 quintal now our last step is to calculate this railing post at the rate of 1 percentage so we can simply copy all these number length breadth and height so i will copy this and we have to multiply by this percentage that is into 1 by 100 and to calculate weight we have to multiply all these by our total density that is 78.5 quintal so the total weight we obtain is 0 0.26 quintal so while adding all these we get the total quantity 22.1 quintal in this way we have completed the estimation of this rcc t-beam decking and if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.